Welcome back to Myler Express. Yes, we've been gone for a month, but that's just how the things are now. Today, we're gonna be doing a Barney uh, report. We're gonna be we're gonna be looking at a Barney news report from the 90s about his popularity. Let's go! Others have fascinated kids for ages. There's the giant Brontosaurus, the funny looking Stegosaurus, the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex, and now there's Barney, the first fuzzy dinosaur. Giselle Fernandez reports on the big purple reptile that kids can't resist. Yay, Not since that famous mouse or that big yellow bird on, has anything captured the hearts of little children like Barney the Dinosaur. Yeah, move aside, Mickey Mouse. Move aside, Big Bird. Here comes a big dancing around dinosaur that sings songs about loving. I don't know. Oh, I'm so glad to see you all. I can't say the same for you, Barney. Who is that? Barney? Who's Barney? Barney's a dinosaur. I think he said Barney's a dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know. That was a bunch of jarbled mess from what I heard from that child. That kid's like 30 now, by the way. Who is this? Barney. He's Barney. What is Barney? Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. Whoa. All right, somebody's got to teach that kid how to share. He's yours. This purple dinosaur who got his start in videos has fast become the attention getter at daycare centers, the star attraction at birthday parties. Okay, that right there, that's just bootlegged Rockefeller Center Barney right there. He even made an appearance at the inauguration. Yeah, yeah, that, that right there, that is the proof of fame. Barney was literally at Bill Clinton's inauguration. That's how big he was. got a mesmerizing effect even on the most mischievous of toddlers. Ah, uh, it's just, just, oh, just nice and huggy, just go and enjoy myself watching Barney. Excuse me, what am I doing? When this dinosaur sings, they stop, they listen, some even sing along. <laughs> Holy crap, Barney, Barney put kids in trances. Bar Barney was able to put kids in like a trance. He was like, it was like, it was like Barney was used for mind control on children. He's so friendly, he's warm, uh, teaches about love, and, and it just kind of like soothes the kids. It seems to me that sharing is a special way of caring. Okay, I think that kid from earlier needs to hear this lesson. It's everywhere in my house. It's on his bed, in his bath towels, all over his room. It's in the dining room. It's in the bathroom. It's in the backyard. I can't get him. I can't get away from Barney. He's all. He's all over the place. He's literally. He's literally at my at my grandparents' house. He's literally at my grandparents' house. I don't even know how he got there, but he's there. All over my living room on videotapes. If you think this is just kid stuff, you've got another thing coming. Barney is big business. In all of New York this week, toy stores were sold out of Barney's. This big fellow was the only one we could find. This past year alone, Barney has raked in over $100 million in retail sales, over $50 million in videos. He's on public TV every day, and you haven't seen anything yet. Barney was one hell of a cash cow, wasn't he, huh? He's a, he made a lot of the big bucks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bar Barney, was, Barney was filthy, stinking rich. Barney's right hand and like magic he comes to life. Hello again. Talking Barney is coming out next month, along with Barney games and phones and trains, even cookie cutters. Well sign me up. I'm gonna wait in line at the local Target to get me all of those things. At the New York Toy Fair, buyers for toy stores couldn't wait to get in on the action. Will you fall like a duck? Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Now, now that right there, that is the sound of an amused businessman right there that's waiting to make a lot of money off of that. Play, play that one more time. Quack, quack. Ah, it's just like music to my ears, like, a, like an old Sinatra song. Kids may not be able to get enough of Barney, but some parents have had all they can take. My husband doesn't love Barney, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but then parents aren't the point. Giselle Fernandez, CBS News, New York. Love me, love my dinosaur. Well, thank you guys for watching this. I hope it was worth the month wait. I'm sorry if it's not as good as the other videos. I, I wish. I wish I was making more. I'm probably going to be doing surprise uploads like I always used to do um, in, in the same month as I released the one that I'm supposed to release. You know, like like I do, like I do, you know, random uploads. Classic me. But uh, thank you guys for watching this. I'll see you guys. I want to see you. Bye-bye, guys.